A warm greeting to everyone. Today is Tuesday, September 24, 2024, and this is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I would like to talk specifically about the tropical Atlantic region, where over the next two weeks, we will be monitoring several tropical waves that could encounter favorable conditions for cyclonic development. This includes a strong tropical wave that has a high probability of becoming the next tropical storm of the season, as well as other tropical waves that will emerge in early October and could also have some type of cyclonic development. On another note, I will also briefly comment on a strong tropical wave approaching the Lesser Antilles and moving through the Caribbean Sea. But first, I wanted to mention that we are closely monitoring the formation of Tropical Storm Helen, which is moving towards areas of the Yucatan Peninsula and western Cuba, and then it will reach the Florida Panhandle by Thursday possibly as a major hurricane. So, stay tuned to Hurricane Info for more details about this disturbance. Without further ado, let's specifically talk about the tropical Atlantic region, which, as you know, has been less active than usual during the month of September. However, there are indications that we may see an increase in cyclonic activity over the next two weeks. This is mainly because a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian Oscillation, MJO, is starting to move over the Atlantic region and will be establishing itself over the African continent and the Indian Ocean during the next two weeks. Historically, this phase of the MJO generates favorable conditions for the formation of tropical cyclones. And although cyclonic activity in the tropical Atlantic typically decreases as October begins, it is possible that activity between the Caribbean and Africa will extend into early October, mainly because sea temperatures are at record levels across the main development region. Over the past few weeks, the trade winds have been very weak across the tropical Atlantic, which has allowed ocean surface temperatures to continue rising. In fact, over the past week, the warming has been extreme in the main cyclonic development zone, which extends from the Caribbean to Africa. Here, in blue, you can see the average value of ocean surface temperatures, which are at a new record high, because, since we have data, the main development region has never had hotter temperatures than we have now. And notice that this value far exceeds what is normal for this time of year, represented by this black line, and also far exceeds the record we set last year, in 2023. Our concern is that the temperatures across the tropical Atlantic and the Caribbean Sea are extremely hot. And that's why we think the risk of cyclonic development will extend at least until mid-October, and then, towards the end of October and November, in the Caribbean Sea. Here at Hurricane Info, I am also closely monitoring a strong tropical wave approaching the Lesser Antilles. Although this disturbance currently has no chances of cyclonic development, we will be watching it as it moves into the Western Caribbean seawaters, because sometimes we see these systems develop cyclonic characteristics once they reach that region. However, what will become the powerful hurricane Helen will likely be causing wind shear from the north. And when this tropical wave moves south of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, it will probably be affected by these winds. At the moment, we suspect that it will not develop cyclonic characteristics. Even so, with such warm temperatures prevailing in the Caribbean Sea, we will stay attentive to its evolution. For now, it will bring heavy rains across the Virgin Islands tonight, and eventually, between Wednesday and Thursday, increased humidity across Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. The other area we are monitoring in the tropical Atlantic is associated with a strong tropical wave southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. You can see that this disturbance has good rotation and is also accompanied by some thunderstorm activity. In fact, the National Hurricane Center gives it up to an 80% chance of cyclonic development over the next seven days. Fortunately, it is projected to maintain a trajectory far from the Caribbean region, moving into the open waters of the Atlantic, as shown by the GFS model ensemble. Additionally, the members of the European model also show a movement towards the west-northwest over the next four to five days, and eventually turning north, away from the Caribbean region. However, it is important that at the beginning of October, we monitor some tropical waves emerging from Africa. Some long-range models project the development of another tropical cyclone at the start of October, as shown in this run of the American model, which has a tropical depression or tropical storm developing in about 7 to 9 days. We see the same thing in the European model, which shows a strong low-pressure system or strong tropical wave moving west through the tropical Atlantic. The European model's AI forecast also shows a strong low-pressure system developing southwest of Cape Verde at the start of next week. Other models, like the German one, also show a low-pressure system, as does the UK model, which projects the development of a long-term tropical depression southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. And while this is definitely a long-range forecast, and we currently have no cyclonic threats for the Eastern Caribbean region during the first week of October, we will stay attentive to these tropical waves. For example, many members of the European model ensemble develop a strong low-pressure system moving westward at a fairly low latitude. And while there are fewer members, we also see some in the GFS model that develop a strong low-pressure system at a fairly low latitude. But there is really no reason to worry about the Eastern Caribbean Sea at the moment, 
as these are long-range projections, and many changes can happen in the coming days. Be cautious if you see some model runs like the GFS model, projecting a hurricane approaching the Caribbean Sea. Remember that we are talking about a forecast about 15 days out, and these long-range forecasts have no precision. Once again, all remains calm in the Caribbean Sea, but we do know that several strong tropical waves will emerge from Africa over the next few weeks. Well, that's all for this video. The next video will update the forecast for the newly formed tropical storm Helen. And to make sure you don't miss any of the videos I'll be recording in the coming days, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you receive notifications when I upload new videos. Well, I'll say goodbye for now and see you in the next video. See you then!